He was Germany's longest serving post-war leader, serving as Chancellor from 1982 to 1998. He was also one of the driving forces behind the introduction of the European single currency. Well, the present Chancellor, Angela Merkel, has been paying tribute. I'm very saddened by this news. My thoughts are foremost with Helmut Kohl's wife, Maike, to whom I gave my condolences on the phone, and with his family. I wish them great solace and strength, but I also think at this moment, with the greatest respect and great thankfulness about the life of the German Chancellor, Helmut Kohl. The image of this man, who was great in every sense of the word, his achievements, his role as a statesman in German's historic hour, that is obvious to us all immediately. But it still will take some time to really understand what we have lost. Well, Ira Spitzer in Berlin has more on Helmut Kohl's legacy. Well, the world has lost one of the iconic leaders of the 20th century today, Helmut Kohl, who when he took the reins as Germany's chancellor in 1982, or West Germany's chancellor in 1982, uh, governed for 16 years, the longest tenure of any German chancellor in the 20th century. And when he uh, left his post in 1998, uh, he left a united Germany, a reunited Germany. The East and the West had come together uh, in 1990 under Kohl's leadership. And it is that event, the reunification of the country, that uh, will almost certainly be Helmut Kohl's enduring legacy. Uh, like many, he himself was surprised at the swiftness with which the East German state fell apart after the fall of the Berlin Wall. However, uh, seizing that historical moment and in some cases moving much faster than his allies would have liked, he really set the wheels in motion to, uh, to make reunification a reality. And of course, uh, a reunited Germany now sits uh, as the largest economy in Europe, uh, a, a world power. So Helmut Kohl is really considered the architect of this uh, country that we now live in.